Well, moving on, uh, especially to the cyclonic storm that's further intensified into a severe cyclonic storm over the southwest bay of Bengal and moves nearly northwards close to India's southern state of Andhra Pradesh's coast during forenoon on the 5th of December. Severe cyclonic storm to hit the region with a maximum gusting wind speed to 90 to 100 kilometers per hour. Well, the National Disaster Response Team of India has deployed close to 21 teams there on the ground in the coastal regions there. The rescue and relief teams of the Indian Coast Guard, Indian Army, Indian Navy, along with the ships and aircrafts have been kept on standby in view of the impending cyclone there in the Bay of Bengal. And the latest there on that heavy rains throwing normal life out of gear, especially in the southern city of Chennai. And, uh, you know, it's expected, this particular cyclone is expected to cross Chennai on December 4th. Heavy rainfall, strong winds being witnessed there in many areas of Tamil Nadu. The heavy rains have also led to waterlogging in many areas, roads, tree fall incidents being reported, wall collapse also being reported, especially from Chennai. Well, DD India's correspondent Jay Singh joins us uh, on the phone line from uh, Chennai. Jay Singh, uh, good afternoon. You know, how does one see this particular severe cyclonic storm? You know, when is the landfall likely to happen? And uh, along with, uh, you know, the southern state of Tamil Nadu, which other states need to be on standby, need to be on alert, especially when it comes to handling the aftermath of this particular cyclonic storm? Well, uh, Anil Thomas, the situation is uh, really uh, a little grim and uh, the, the, the rain is not uh, relenting. It, it's uh, lavishing the city, lapping up uh, since last uh, evening. Uh, um, Chennai and its suburbs are getting pounded by torrential rainfall and uh, it is coupled with the strong and gusty wind because the cyclone is... Uh, coming closer and closer towards the shores, which is just 90 kilometers away from the shores from Chennai. And uh, the cyclone is expected, it, is, it has already intensified into a severe cyclonic storm, and it is moving along the coastline, parallel to the coastline towards Andhra Pradesh, and the landfall is expected to be in the forenoon tomorrow, in close close to a city called Bapatla in Andhra Pradesh, which is in between Nellore and uh, Machuli, Machulipatinam. Okay. Uh, the the uh, situation in Chennai is uh, uh, quite grim to the extent of uh, Chennai airport getting shutting, sh shut down until further orders. And the state government has announced a public holiday for today and tomorrow in Chennai and its adjoining districts like Sengalpattu, Tiruvallur, and Kanchipuram. Okay. There is a huge water logging. Yes. Okay. The public transport is out of case. Okay. Uh, Jay Singh also bring us the latest, especially when it comes to the highways that Chennai connects to, especially Kolkata. And also with regards to, you know, many examinations that are around the corner at this point of time. Uh, has the state government announced something with regards to how these kids can travel? Or is there yes. a postponement or a deferment of these exams? that kids would be, you know, preparing for and everything yes. seems to be going haywire. Yes, obviously. The Madras University has uh, jurisdictions over the northern district and also Anna University has also got affiliated colleges throughout the uh, state, including the northern district. Therefore, both the uh, institutions have uh, uh, announced uh, uh, reorganization and uh, re uh, postponement of their examination, semester examination, which are underway, and uh, the, uh, the, the, the next date will be announced later. Uh, the Tamil Nadu Public Service Commission has uh, organized some interviews for some direct recruitment of uh, various posts. That has also been postponed. Similar is the case with the Tamil Nadu Teachers Recruitment Board and the several other. Well, uh, examinations like the veterinary college examinations have also been postponed. Uh, okay. So the, the as far as the highway uh, connecting Chennai are concerned, highway uh, uh, from all directions, 360 directions are all inundated, and the transport is very thin. 
only uh, skeletal uh, public transport is being operated due to the current situation. Uh, even the suburban train, electric train, has got severely affected, completely shut down from the uh, uh, on the route of uh, Chennai and uh, Tiruvallur districts like Arakona Mandal. And the uh, uh, other side, uh, Chennai to Chengalpattu is also severely affected. The frequency has been reduced. Okay. Chennai metro train also, uh, though it is a little bit okay, but uh, the frequency has been brought down. And uh, many uh, metro stations have been declared out of bound because of water logging in and around the station. Okay. So not all the stations, yes. Okay. Okay, Jaising, we'll leave it there. You take good care of yourself. Stay indoors. We'll come Thank back to you. you for more updates on that particular story there in the southern state of Tamil Nadu. Well, still to come on DD India News R. Prime Minister to unveil Shivaji.